Get him down, babe. Minority of people who really likes the new Starbucks Oleato coffee. I think it's really delicious. All right, hello, hello. Welcome to another little travel adventure. We just took a pit stop here in Bishop, California. We're on our way out to Mammoth to go spring skiing. Probably the latest we've ever gone skiing. We still have so much snow up there from the crazy storms that we had this last winter. People are gonna be skiing into July, I think. It is so warm out here. I cannot believe we're going skiing right now. <laughs> but first, mahogany smoked meats. So we can't come here and not get some beef jerky. It's absolutely incredible, and it yeah. also makes for a great snack when you're skiing in Mammoth. Sweet and spicy brisket, yeah. Sweet and spicy brisket, please. Right. right, we're here. What do you think? The latest we've ever skied before? Yeah, maybe. I mean, <laughs> if we ski on Monday for a couple hours, it'd be first and that would be a new month. I don't think we're going to ski to May. You almost fifty. not bad this is as much light that gets in because the snow is still this high <laughs> the only window that has any semblance of a view it's got a kitchen pretty decent movie selection bathroom and the bedroom which we brought our own pillows so that's why it looks like a hot mess because I already threw them on there not bad affordable every time we come up to Mammoth this year and we could never get a reservation. It was always so busy, but they're closing for their solar season in two days, so we finally got in. So I'm excited, so excited to try their food and they have such an amazing wine list, such an extensive wine list, and it's not overpriced, it's really reasonable. I was very impressed. The marshmallow burnt is the only way.
places to stop for lunch while skiing in Mammoth is the Yodler. It's located right next to the main lodge and oh my god, the sausage platter with the pretzel bread is our go-to. It is so good. Yeah, I don't think I'm skinny. Got a long way to go. Let's take it back to Eagle. Yeah, we'll be there in no time. So hopefully tomorrow we'll slide a little faster through the sticky spots. 
and we're gonna throw, go throw some axes. So I go to eat some fuck. That's some real man shit. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> Morning. We are winning today. We kind of slept in, took our time to get here, and we managed to get bad ass parking at the mill. Wearing a sweatshirt and yoga pants under this. Well. <laughs> Which way are we going? Oh, where do you want to go? So you want to take the gondola up? Or we can take the chairlift up. I just want to wear it. Whee! The snow is nice right now. I think the wax yesterday helped too. Helped a lot. Are you enjoying your lunch break? Definitely enjoying my lunch break. <laughs> I was squished up in the back of my <laughs> Cherokee. <laughs> but I could sleep here. This is one reason why I love spring skiing. People just do the craziest stuff. Like this guy who is in a suit and has a wine glass and a wine bottle and was drinking it going down a uh, cornice. Hey, definitely a lot more chopped up than it was earlier. Not as groomed and nice as it was before. No, but it's still, it's still interesting. Look at this guy. He's got his hair out, his wine bottle and his wine glass. Love it. <laughs> it's like the guy that's famous for playing saxophone. Who? Uh, Kenny G. Not a sweet. try to head up to the mountain to get a little bit more skiing in this trip but Nate was looking at the live cams and although it's a beautiful spring morning here on May 1st here in the uh, village area apparently it's pretty bad conditions up on the mountain so we're gonna go over the mill check it out see how it looks and try our luck I don't know what it is but every time we've come up here this year and try to get a little half day in on our last day on our way out it's always something. Looks are very deceiving right now, I do have to say, from what it looks like right here, where I'm sitting in the car. I can use a little bit of rain. <laughs> dust. Not when I'm skiing. I said we do it. Just walking around. Then we say we didn't day. We should ask skiing. In the rain? Why not? Two runs? They'll be miserable. Maybe, but then we get that accolade of one more day on our ski year. Oh my god. Like, and who's gonna see it? Just you. Yeah. Missed year.
That's not great. Can't see nothing. All right, you got me out here. It's like a whiteout when you get up to the top of this lift. It's so trippy. Yeah, it's whiteout. Can't see anything, but I just follow this orange man in the white void. <laughs> That oh, sounds really icy right here. I feel like we're going into the abyss. We are, kind of. Oh! <laughs> <sighs> this is pretty trippy. I know, I can't see shit. All I feel like I'm looking at is you and like a white void. trip to Mammoth. We're on our way back to LA. Stopped at Mahogany Smoked Meats again for lunch because we love the sandwiches the first time through. I definitely feel like every time I go skiing I need to go home and just like soak my face in Vaseline or something. Something about like the wind and the cold air just like ugh, takes all the moisture out of me. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you enjoy travel vlogs and fashion and lifestyle all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye!